There ain't no grave can hold my body down. There ain't no grave can hold my body down. There is nothing worse than to see generational talent get screwed over by poor management. Bill O'Brien is the same guy that blew a 24 point lead in the playoffs and you were winning 24 to nothing and you blew it. Bill O'Brien is also the same guy that traded away Jadavian Clowney for Laramie Tunzel and Deshaun Watson still gets hit every other play. So to me, that looked like a terrible trade. Bill O'Brien went through five different quarterbacks and if Deshaun Watson leaves, that's six. You paid Brock Osweiler way too much money. Then you trade away a potential Hall of Fame receiver for an injury-prone running back? Oh! Ew! Dude! What the fuck? So you mean to tell me that you could not draft Jonathan Taylor from Wisconsin or Cam Akers from Florida State, but you traded for David Johnson, even though Carlos Hyde and Duke Johnson played very well last year. And you know what makes it so bad? Is that Bill O'Brien actually thinks that this is a good trade. I mean, the Texans biggest problem since Bill O'Brien has been there is the fact that they do not have a solid foundation in the offensive line. So it does not matter who they have at the running back position, their lineman can't block. I don't get Bill O'Brien. I don't know why he has so much power. I do not know who he is or who he knows, but he's an okay coach, but he's a poor, poor manager. You do not have to be a Texans fan to know that this was a bad trade. I mean, this is a bad trade if you're a football fan and you watch football. I mean, People universally from all fan bases like Deshaun Watson, and we are tired of seeing him get screwed over by a facetious franchise and poor management. I mean, that whole AFC South is terrible with managing their quarterbacks and players. I mean, the Colts ran Andrew Luck out of Indianapolis because they could not give him protection and Andrew Luck's body gave out. The Jaguars pay way too much money for quarterbacks that do not produce well, such as Nick Foles and Blake Bortles. Then the Titans gave Marcus Mariota way too many head coaches and they did not give him an offense to fit his strengths, even though Mike Vrabel looks like a genius the way he used Ryan Tannehill and now Ryan Tannehill has a big contract and I think the Titans are the most complete team in that division right now but when it comes to the Texans I mean Deshaun Watson is going to have to use the force because I mean unless Bill O'Brien is going to draft some receiver that's going to be a generational talent that can make fans forget DeAndre Hopkins 